Hey, this is Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff coming at you. How you guys doing today? Great week for the Red Wolves. We started this Saturday with three points from hosting a Greenville Triumph. They took three points from us when we visited them. We thought uh, turnabout is fair play. Fair play it was. The Wolves were in control through most of the match. Yes, Greenville took more shots, but those shots went nowhere. Our defenders, especially with Mangles, just shut them down. Mangles had some great saves. One is going to be up for um, save of the week. Pretty sure it's going to get it. It could be in the highlight reel at the end of the year, off the tip of his foot. Fantastic. Uh, later on, uh, after 90 minutes, Eamon Zaid uh, went ahead and lobbed in that goal. It was fantastic. And um, the Alpha, uh, the Alphas, the Scenic City Alphas, which is the supporter group, as well as the other fans, were really into the match. They were just uh, given all of their heart into it. And the players responded uh, with their play. Then uh, the guys jumped the fence and uh, went ahead and, and greeted the crowd. I think it ended up with a yellow card uh, for Leo, uh, but uh, I, I don't think he minded. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, the, the guys were fantastic. Amen and Leo and some of the other guys were out there uh, just high-fiving our, our supporters. And that was really great to see that connection. Hey, if you want to be a part of that, not guaranteeing that the guys are going to jump the fence and, and slap your hand, but if you want to be a part of this um, community that is growing for professional soccer in Chattanooga, come on out to Stanton Field this Saturday. Uh, now, the match is going to be at 7 o'clock, but if you show up earlier, I think starting at 4, just north, uh, there will be a beer garden. Uh, there will be the tailgate for the Scenic City Alphas. Invite you to come out, say hi to us. If you want to talk to me on camera, uh, let me know what your predictions are, your thoughts of the match. Uh, we could do that, and uh, it should be great. Uh, look for Big Red, and he'll show you some of the chants. They're pretty easy, and we will shout out and chant together as we take on Toronto FC2. Now, Toronto has um, struggled a little bit. Uh, they haven't played as much because uh, I don't think that they've played at home yet. They've only been on the road. They've had less matches, so they're a little slow coming out at the starting gate. We're coming in with some momentum and uh, we really looked good there. Plus, we're at home, and we play much better when we play at home. So how's it looking for the Red Wolves? Well, I asked uh, some of the Scenic City Alphas, uh, some of the supporters in Chattanooga, and here was their thoughts about the score. What was it like to see the guys jump out after the goal and come right to you? It was awesome. I... It was like a dream. It was. It was I mean... <laughs> Literally, like one of the top moments of my life. Like, no exaggeration, no joke. Like, I would agree that's probably the most fun I've ever had at a soccer game. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, you guys were pointed out. I mean, it was like, so that was really affirmation. I know you guys have been, uh, you guys got a chance to work more on the songs and picking them. And do you feel that that made a difference? In my heart, I want to say yes, you know, for sure. But I think in my ears it did too. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I can yeah. hear it. I think, you know, I mean, you always read the supporters play a role, you yeah. know, and you want to thank them. What we did helped them pump them up to just at that last moment win. And that was, that was, I'll be on my deathbed and I'll remember that. That was awesome. I'm going to put you on the spot for one last question. You ready? Because yeah. you, obviously I could tell you really love this. Uh, but <laughs> for someone who's coming in, and they're not quite sure what to say, what to chant. What can they do to really pull the team into it? What can they do as a fan? If it's their first time coming out or they haven't really jumped in and to sing in, what do you recommend that they do? Just scream Red Wolves. Just scream Red Wolves as loud as you can. When in doubt, Red Wolves. Yeah. And if you got any more questions, come holler at me and I'll, you can start chatting with us. All right, last thing. Thomas, you know, I'm going to put you on the spot for this. <laughs> All right, so we've got Toronto. We've got those crazy Canucks. And, of course, we've got to work into the exchange rate, 1.6 Canadian to U.S. What do you think the goals are going to be? What do you think the score is going to be? Two to nothing, Red Wolves. All right, two to nothing, which would be 2.8 Canadian, I guess. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with Thomas. I think I think we have a real we're at home, which is great for us. But I think a, you know another clean sheet for Alex and a two nothing is 
I agree. A two nil. Plus, in this league, all the road teams have trouble winning at anyone's home. I think there's only been like seven so far. I'll put you on the spot if that's okay. What do you think? No. You don't, you don't, you don't have to call. Uh, just, uh, just win. It's just a win. You're going to call it a win. Yeah. Yeah. With the win. And, and I, I know you love being put on record right. for this. Alex, not Adam. <laughs> yes. I am going to say do uh, whatever French is for zero. Take that, Canada. Well, that's right. So there you go. So two nothing. Any? Do, would, you, would you like to pick yours? Um, I'm not. I'm not giving a number, but let's go, guys. Let go, We're behind you, and we know you've got it in you. Let's go. All right, guys. Do you think the Red Bulls are going to pull it off against Toronto? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. All right. No problem. Yes. No. I'll see you guys there. Awesome. Hmm. That's interesting. I think the consensus is 2-0 is what a lot of them are calling for. I'm a little more conservative with this, partly uh, because I'm concerned about injuries. Uh, just checking. Now, of course, we won't know who's going to be available quite yet. And um, I have a feeling we may not have a full side. Uh, we already have Dixon who's out, but there may be some others. If they're not out, they may not start. And so um, they might get some lighter duty. Because of that, and only because of that, I'm going to go more conservative, 1-0 with the Red Wolves. We're still at home. We have this momentum. And our supporter group is building that momentum with them. So I think that's going to help really pull them over. But uh, uh, the injuries just have me a little cautious on going to the 2-0. So I'm going to stick with a 1-0. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's 2-0 or 3-0. But let's see how we do against Toronto FC. Hey, come meet us at the match. David Stanton Field. Hey, this has been Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>